we finally have the design leaked of the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and I'll be revealing it to you guys right after this. So we've got a few bits of information to share with you guys today but it's mainly the reveal of the Samsung Galaxy Note 20. As well as the final design we also have some camera information but before we get into it please like the video if you're looking forward to the Galaxy Note 20 and let me know in the comments if you prefer the Galaxy Note 20 or the Galaxy Note 20 Plus. So while many leaks have been coming forward about the Galaxy Note 20 specs, we now have some new camera information as well as the final design. When it comes to the cameras, many were expecting the same as the previously released Ultra, but it turns out that that won't be the case. We've had a leak from Kami NGO on Twitter that shows us the camera housing on the Galaxy Note 20. Unfortunately, we don't know if it's for the Galaxy Note 20 or the Note 20 Plus, but I have to say I like it. The design, in my opinion, looks a little more pleasing than the one we had on the Ultra and it makes for a great camera configuration. While we don't know exactly what cameras they are yet, many are hoping that we have the HM1, the GN1 and a periscope lens at the bottom. With this camera housing, it looks like we're also getting a laser focus to the right hand side, which seems like a welcomed improvement after the focusing issues on the Ultra. Ice Universe has already advised that the HM1 will be present in the Note 20 and Rodent950 has reported that there won't be a 100x space zoom but it will have a 4x periscope zoom. While some people may see that as a downside, it really doesn't matter too much as digital zoom produces terrible quality images and you can always zoom in post. We also have Ice Universe hinting at another sensor being used for better focusing and many believe that this is Samsung's new GN1. The new GN1 was announced last week and it's their first sensor to come with both dual pixel and tetracell technology. It's a 1 over 1.31 inch sensor with 1.2 micrometer pixels and 100 million phase detect autofocus agents. Put in simple terms, it means we'll be getting some high resolution images and video with fast and accurate autofocus. The Tetracell technology allows for 4 in 1 pixel binning similar to the HM1, and we also have the dual pixel technology enabling 100 megapixel resolution. The dual pixel technology places two photodiodes next to each other within a single pixel, and this allows it to receive light from different angles for phase detection. It allows the sensor to detect and focus still or moving objects from every corner almost instantaneously and works well even in low lit conditions. With this camera setup it's going to be taking incredible photos and it's no doubt going to be Samsung's best camera smartphone yet. Now, when it comes to the design of the Samsung Galaxy Note 20, there have been a lot of wild concepts, but in reality, not much is going to change. That's not a bad thing though, as we get reduced bezels all round and a reduced punch hole selfie camera. This render is from Pictow and shows us how stunning the Note 20 is going to be. It's based from the leaked CAD information and it's what most of us were expecting. On the back, we can see the same camera module that we took a look at earlier, and overall, I think it's going to be an incredible photo for both looks and performance, so don't forget to let me know in the comments what you guys think of this design. The CAD details it's come from were leaked earlier on in the week and it's great to see someone has made them into this render so quickly. The CAD details leak give us a further view of the Note 20 and we can see that it will of course be a USB Type-C device and the new S Pen is going to be located in the bottom left. Unfortunately, we haven't had any leaks on features or specs of the new S Pen but as soon as we hear anything, I'll be sharing it straight away. On top of the better cameras though, we'll also get improved display, battery and general hardware upgrades and of course, it's not going to be much longer until it's fully unveiled. It will actually be Samsung's first online only event for their flagship, so it's going to be interesting to see. But now we're going to run through the full specs of the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and the Note 20 Plus. For my regular viewers, you guys have already seen all of this, so you can switch off now. But if you're new here, then don't forget to hit subscribe and we're going to get right into it. Of course, the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 is going to be an incredible smartphone and actually one of my favourite releases this year. We'll likely see improved design, display, cameras and more, but for anyone who's missed my previous videos, we're going to quickly run through what we can expect. For my regular viewers, you would have already seen this, so just switch off now, but for anyone new here, we're going to run through everything we know so far about the Samsung Galaxy Note 20. While the Note was always much bigger than the S range in the past, things have been changing lately, so it's going to be interesting to see what screen sizes we get with the Galaxy Note 20. 
Last year we had the Note in two sizes which was 6.3 inch and 6.8 inch displays. We then had a light model come later with a 6.7 inch display. Given that the S range has massively increased in size with a 6.9 inch display now coming, I'm going to estimate that we could see a Galaxy Note 20 with at least a 7 inch display. Now of course smartphone sizes are generally getting larger so phablet sizes are going to rise too. Given the success of last year's notes, I'm also going to predict that we'll be getting a Galaxy Note 20 along with a Galaxy Note 20 Plus. We haven't had any solid leaks or information when it comes to displays, but I'm going to predict a 6.5 inch display on the Galaxy Note 20 and a 7 inch display on the Galaxy Note 20 Plus. I'm expecting both models to be 1440 by 3200 resolution and that will be a 120Hz dynamic AMOLED display. We're no doubt going to see an in-display fingerprint scanner along with Gorilla Glass 6 for protection. Now when it comes to the selfie camera, the Note line actually led the innovation for Samsung last year. It's going to be interesting to see whether they stick with the punch hole camera top center or if the Galaxy Note 20 comes with a new design altogether. Many are curious whether in-display cameras are going to be available for consumers and when Samsung have this technology ready. My guess it would be introducing it on the Note line, but unfortunately the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 is probably a little bit too early for this tech and it's likely going to be something we see in 2021. When it comes to the rear of the Samsung Galaxy Note 11 or the Galaxy Note 20 as it may be called, I've got no doubts that we're going to see a rectangular camera housing. Samsung have stuck with this across their mid-range and their flagships this year, so the Note 20 should be no different. Samsung have also been getting a lot more adventurous with their cameras, so I'm going to predict that we'll get a 108 megapixel ISOCELL sensor with pixel binning technology. We'll get a periscope lens with some incredible zoom capabilities, we'll get an ultra wide angle for those wide shots, and we'll also get a 3D time of flight depth sensor. We'll also no doubt see better camera sensors on the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Plus compared to the standard Note 20. In the hardware department we know the Galaxy Note 20 is going to be powered by the Snapdragon 865 in North America and the Exynos 990 globally. We'll see up to 512 gigs of internal storage with up to 16 gigabytes of RAM and it will of course be expandable with a micro SD card. Given the larger size, the Galaxy Note 20 Plus is expected to have a battery capacity of 5200 mAh, while the Galaxy Note 20 is going to be around 4300. Of course, both Galaxy Note 20s are going to be running Android 10 in the form of One UI 2 and it will be IP68 water resistant. The Galaxy Note 20 is expected to come with stereo speakers and no 3.5mm headphone jack and most importantly for Note fans, it will be coming with the much loved S Pen using Bluetooth 5. We haven't had any leaks on the upcoming S Pen but it's no doubt going to be more refined with new hardware and software features. The Galaxy Note 20 is set to be an incredible device and judging by recent years we can expect the Galaxy Note 20 to launch at the start of August 2020 and release towards the end of the month. When it comes to pricing, it will of course be an expensive device. Prices are expected to start at about $1100 to $1200 for the standard Note 20 and around $1400 to $1500 for the Galaxy Note 20 Plus or Galaxy Note 20 Ultra as it may also be called. Given the success of this year's light models, it's also likely that we'll get a Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Lite released further down the line. It's a great time to be a Samsung fan with so many phones being released by the company. We've got a huge selection in the A range, the Premium S and the Note line on top of the Galaxy Fold and the Galaxy Z Flip phone. Now I have to say the Z Flip phone is the only one that doesn't really excite me but that's just because I see it as a little bit unnecessary. It's sort of trying to solve a problem that isn't really there in the first place and being overcomplicated for very little reason. Of course that's just my opinion though and I'm sure it will be a successful phone being priced much lower than the Fold. Of course that's all the information and estimates we have today but as soon as any solid information comes to light I'll be sharing with you guys straight away but I just wanted to give you my estimations along with these stunning renders that concept artists have already brought together. As always though I'd like to know your guys thoughts in the comments. Who out there is 